Hello everyone, very nice of here. Today we'll be learning how to add music rather than place it into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, a few basic requirements that you need before we get started in this guide is that you need to make sure your switch is modded. That's the most obvious one, the most important one, if you need to have atmosphere and a modded switch. Sorry, if you don't have any of those, I, I recommend you look up how to how to uh, do that because you can't really do much in this tutorial without a modded switch. <laughs> Another requirement is that you need to make sure you have the latest version of Arcropolis. If you don't have that, link will be in the description. If you do, good job. Um, you're also going to need latest version of the game along with a data arc dump and cross arc. So these versions that you need for the updates is either 10 or 10.1. I use 10, so I'm set. Um, if you don't have those, please update your game. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are already updated because who doesn't want Sephiroth? Uh, <laughs> Uh, and that's pretty much set. So, without that data arc as well, you won't be able to open up cross arc and get the files that you need to move into the GUI to get started with this tutorial. So, I recommend you get that started with. There's a lot of tutorials on how to do that on Game Banana, uh, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Game Banana, a forum to be exact. So, you should just, I recommend looking up in the description right there and you should be set. So, ooh, one more thing. Oops, sorry. One more thing. Another thing you need to do is please make sure that you make backup files. And I'm talking about backup files for your mods, just in case you lose them or you mess up somewhere. And especially your game save data. Because we're not sure if adding more music can affect the game save data. So we cannot stress this enough. Just make a backup file for it on JKSV or make it on Checkpoint, whichever, whatever program you use to do that. Because... Once this once this shit fucks your thing up, I don't know what I don't know. That's on you, bro. <laughs> that's on you. That's your problem, not mine. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So with Cross Arc, I'm assuming you already have your pro your Cross Arc installed, and you also have your Data Arc ready to go. All you really need to do is get these files right here. You need to get these two MSBT files, three. PRC files, you need to get this property bin file, and you also need to make sure you get a NUS3 bank file. Once you get those, you should be set on how to and how to do that is just basically basic basic crap. Just type it in. Oh, don't know how to spell. Type it in. Right click on the um, on the file, and extract files, and that's pretty much it. It's not rocket science. Unfortunately, spelling is for me though. So assuming you finally extracted those files, all you really gotta do is just look for them next. Click on the root folder. Go to stream before you move anything. Go to stream, sound, BGM, then select the Nustry Bank audio file that you've downloaded and rename it to template. So from there, we cut this baby out and move it back over here with these folders. So what you're going to do now is you're going to move these files minus that stream folder right here. Ignore that. We're going to move the rest of those fol this folder, this folder, and this file into the resource folder of the Smash 5 music test. So from there, we're going to start out with the template first. So we're going to copy, oops, no. resource, then make sure you paste it onto here. Not in that game folder, not in this folder, out here. And you should be good to go. So from there, you select the other two folders. Let me delete this baby real quick. Select these two folders, copy, resources game and you paste them here it's not that hard not 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 hard not rocket science you're good to go man don't worry all right so once you add every necessary file to the resources folder just exit out or back out of that folder and go back into the regular one right here right here once you do click on the gui and you should be good to go it should pop up smoothly it'll take a minute to load but as long as you don't get those error messages you you're good to go man so once it appears there's going to be some sort of depending on what kind of computer you use if you're using a computer or laptop whatever depending on the display resolution or whatever you call it i don't know what they said uh all you have to do to fix it up is just click settings global settings ui scale small this is only if your the, the letters are too big and everything looks a little too tight and and uh and uh like just all over the place. It's too tight. There's everything's big. And it's kind of like it's a cluster basically. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. So once you do that, save the changes. All you really gotta do is just make sure you restart the whole thing, um, exit out, and then reopen the uh, GUI itself, obviously. So that's pretty much it. So we're finally there. We're almost getting close to the main course. And I know you're getting sick and tired of my fucking voice, but don't worry, we're almost done here. All we gotta do is set up our folders, our mod folders and our games. Before we get started with explaining about the mod folders, we need to talk about creating games. So here's here's let me get deep into this thing. When you're when you're creating a song, uh, when you're adding a song that is not from a game that is represented in, or in, as a series in Smash Brothers, what they want you to do is pretty much this. All you gotta do is just create the game, type whatever game like Sekiro or Metallica. I don't know anything normal like if it's just not if it's just not in Smash all together in that fucking data. You know, just gotta type it in. Boom. Type leave it under etc. That's all you gotta do. We leave it under etc because we cannot as us as, from my knowledge at least, we don't have a create a series tab. So I really don't know how to do that. So we make sure we keep this under etc. just to keep it more organized, you know? So yeah, once you create whatever, just create the damn fucking uh, uh, game and that's pretty much it. Set. Now, if the game or the song that you're adding it has is actually a part of the series, a series that's actually represented, like a Pokemon, like Pokemon. Um, but the, the game that the song is from isn't in the game itself, as in like the game Smash Bros. Still create the game, but make sure you leave it under freaking Pokemon or whatever series it's, it's a part of. So let's say, for example, I want to add a Pokemon Coliseum game. Make sure you leave it under, type it in, blah, blah, blah. Then you leave it under Pokemon. It's not that hard. It's not hard to understand, okay? Now, for create a mod, it's rather simple. All you really gotta do is, is just type in the, the mod or the series that you're, you're doing. So, for example, I'm gonna do a Donkey Kong series. Type in Donkey Kong and then boom, create the folder. The folder will pop up under the mods folder in the Smash Music Test folder. So now begins what we all been waiting for for almost freaking 10 minutes. We're gonna make music mods. Easy crap. You click, you select the Import Songs to tab. Make sure you find that uh, uh, mod you're looking for, mod folder you're looking for. You select it, and then just go find your NUS3 audio file that you have. You gotta make sure you have this ready and you know sent for you. So you go down here to desktop, select whatever song. Ooh. So we're gonna put this under. And make sure you put numbers in at least, or at least like organize like this. I don't know if it doesn't work like that, but I personally like to keep it this way and keep it well organized. And remember, you always gotta keep that underscore then. You can't space anything. I can tell you not to do that. Give it a few seconds. Right and then boom. From here, you just gotta add the information. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Alright, so it's the original song and not the crappy remix that they have in Smash. Just gotta type that in. Oh, my tree, main, and then boom. Create the game. The game is already in the system. So we gotta get a country. Boom, that's it. You have the option to add the composer's name. Uh, right now, I don't know the name of the composer, so we're gonna skip that for now. So we're not just gonna work with just making the dang uh, regular music mods. I'm gonna teach you how to do pinch songs as well. So by that we're gonna do Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. We're gonna start with Kishin Ashinas. I'm talking about Kishin Ashinas, but I'm sure. <laughs> so we start typing things in like this. You type in however, whatever you wanna give the tone ID. Uh, I personally like giving like this to keep it more organized. Remember, nothing else, no other symbol except for underscore. Then boom, that's it. it stays under that. You should not, should not add any your information. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, keep the mood on. Sick Kiro, Shadow Dark Twice. Bam, 100 is the original. Bang, bang. We're gonna come back. Where it says special category, we're gonna come back to that right now. So we make that right after we add that pinch song. So tab again, click shadows, then add whatever the you want to make the pinch song to. So we're gonna make sure that when you're making that pinch song you add pinch at the end. You can keep it the same number oh snap. You can keep it the same you can keep it the same oh my god you can keep it the same number. Uh, just make sure you add pinch at the end. Just 
works best. I don't know. I don't know if it works if it doesn't work like that. It still works fine, even without that, but like I said before, I like to keep my shit neat. Just wish this video was neat. You know, concise. Anyways, you gotta do that. You gotta keep the mood on. Boom. Sekiro. Uh, Sekiro. 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 <laughs> Original. Save changes. Boom. Now we're gonna come back to that Ishina Shina song. Boom. Click on there. Now this is what we do now. Click on that tab, select pinch music, and then make sure to type info underscore, and then type in whatever the number of, of that song was. Give it a second, there we go, boom. Remember, always select the pinch part, that way you don't get too confused with shit. Save change, then boom, that's it, that's it, that's how you do it, you're done. That's pretty much it. Now to move the songs into the playlist is easy. So, for that, we just gotta do this select the playlist so this right here is where every music playlist for every stage is at so this is what we do i want to add the secular songs to street fighter stage we're gonna go all the way down and all we gotta do is just drag and click drag and that's it I'm not drag and click dragon and, and that's it <laughs> dragon. that's pretty much it nothing nothing to it it's just that now we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you a little, tell you a little something here. This order thing right here, it represents the stages that are there, that there are. I mean, so for order zero is stage, the first stage, second stage, etc., etc., etc. Works pretty much how like the costumes do, right? Their uh, alternate colors for the fighters. So for right here, we're gonna go back to the Donkey Kong book because we're adding that Donkey Kong song. This one. Order number, like I said before, is usually represented for the first stage. The first stage for the Donkey Kong is the 64 one, I think. Yeah, it is. So we just do that, and then we move the Donkey Kong song in, and boom, that's it. So we do it for the same thing. You want to keep adding it like that, you want to organize it, go for it. What I usually do is I prefer to not really organize much. I like to leave shit by itself. I only put it in the stages that I actually use. So yeah, we'll keep it like that. Other than that, that's pretty much it. It's, it's nothing, there's nothing really to it. It's a simple process to make these mods and shit and add them in. That's pretty much it. So once you're done doing everything, make sure you select build. And that's pretty much it. If you do have songs that are, or already have like files in the arc put output, make sure you delete them. Make sure you delete them. Because if you don't, you're in big, big trouble. So this is what we're going to do. Go back here. Put. Make sure you delete this crab, and then boom, that's it. Delete it. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. There we go. And then just build. You're set. Just wait for it to pop up. It's gonna give you a little message saying to make sure you check the logs just in case you get any errors with the mods, and that's pretty much it. Another thing I wanted to add before I end this video, um. If you have songs that were meant to be re to replace other songs, like uh, let's say you had a um, song that was meant to replace uh, Delfino Plaza, you, you can still technically use that song that you downloaded on Game Banana or wherever you freaking got it from and still add it in as new music. It won't affect anything. So if you feel like, oh man, I got to make new songs. Now you're good, dude. You can just you grab whatever freaking crap you have from the that you downloaded uh, and just add it in. That's it. You'll be set. So yeah, most of my freaking songs um, that that are even on like that are on like my in my game that are added are, consist of songs that were originally supposed to replace other ones. So you're good, dude. So we did it. We did it. We finally finished making these damn songs, these music mods, and everything like that. Every song you made will be finally added into Smash Bros. But you have one last step: installing the motherfuckers. All you get, really got to do. Just copy and paste these three folders into wherever you keep your fucking crap in. I don't know how you guys do it. I do mine separately. I use Arcadia or technically Acropolis. I don't freaking know. I have my uh, ultimate folder outside in the root of my SD card. So let's pretend this is my root SD card. I click my ultimate folder. Mods. Bungingi will be the name of the damn mod folder. And I just paste them babies in there. Boom. Bada beam, bada boom. That's all you gotta do. So as you wait for it, all you really gotta do is just go back and install however you install your mods, click them, and you should be set, no matter what. So, I hope you guys enjoy this freaking terrible tutorial, I hope you guys have a wonderful night.